The suspect making his way over here towards middle is going to shoot Iceberg in the head. Either way, going to be pushing his way over here towards mid. Is going to take a couple shots and is able to take down the B side. One guy up close on that pillar by Get Right. And one guy over here in B halls. Looks like he did spot him out a little bit. Going to try to peek the angle. Sees his head. Able to take his time and get that kill. He's over here in market pushing his way out. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and let's get back to some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspects got 9 kills, 155 damage round, and oh yeah, he's full on rage hacking. Making his way over here towards long, gonna flick around, take down anchor, only one more guy over here in CT spawn, also rage hacking, and they're trying to see who can get the better angle here. He's getting tapped through that wall down to 7 HP. We're gonna try to push out around the corner and take down Toucan. I guess Toucan was reloading. All right, guys, plenty of evidence here. Let's go and report it. As for major disruption name assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other control assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves on D Mirage. The suspect making his way over here towards middle is going to shoot Iceberg in the head. Really nice shot there. But it kind of looked like it might be an aim lock to me. Either way, going to be pushing his way over here towards mid. Is going to take a couple shots and is able to take down Emu. Let's turn on that X-ray because I couldn't see that guy through that box. All right, the suspect making his way over here towards the B site. One guy up close on that pillar by Get Right. And one guy over here in B halls. Looks like he did spot him out a little bit. Going to try to peek the angle. Sees his head. Able to take his time and get that kill. This is going to leave one terrorist remaining. He's over here in market, pushing his way out, and the suspect's able to take him down. Sadly, it won't be enough, as the bomb is still going to blow. All right, so the suspect's got seven kills with 290 damage around. Uh, obviously got two kills on that first round, and then aced the second round, hitting a couple of hops here. It was only two hops, so I can't say for sure it was a B-hop script. But the way he did it made it look like it might be one. Went over here in middle. He's able to take down Emu with a no-scope. This round, the suspect's playing over here at the A site. His teammate just went down over here in Palace. So it looks like the suspect's going to push aggressive and try to take down the guy in Palace. And yes, if we were curious if he was wall hacking, I think that's a pretty good sign of it right there. Just took a shot at him right through that pillar. Knew exactly where he was. Peeking out on him perfectly. Now holding the angle. Waiting for him to peek out on the right or left side. Going to flick over to the right and take down Iceberg. One more guy over here on A ramp is going to take a shot at him. Three peeks here. Not quite able to get on target. And does finally hit the no-scope. Not only that, he takes down his teammate right afterwards. Well, on the first couple of rounds, I wasn't 100% sure he was cheating. But now we can clearly see his wall hacking, which means he's most likely using an aim assistance. And of course, most likely using a B-hop script since he is hitting so many hops. Gonna be making his way over here towards middle. There is one guy under pass. He's gonna take some shots. The suspect still over here. Gonna take down Whale through the smoke. Still one guy on the left side of mid. And let's see if he goes about reapproaching this so we can take him down. His teammate trying to spam one guy in mid. Suspect gonna come down here and misses the taser shot. Oh, that is embarrassing. All right, looks like the terrorists are going to be hitting the A site this time. The suspect making his way over here towards stairs. Looks like he's going to watch over here towards palace. Going to take a no-scope shot. Not quite able to get on target. And going to go down. Ooh, did you see that movement? All right, so he's got whatever that cheat, that movement cheat as well. Going to be making his way back over here towards mid. One guy pushing his way through underpass. Emu over there on the left-hand side. Now he's using anti-aim. And we have the full-on trifecta. The suspect trying to peek out here. Emu trying to shoot him because he can see him even though he can't technically hit him. Suspect still holding the angle. Is going to spot him out. And finally able to take down Emu. Poor Emu was not able to hit him once because of that anti-aim. He could probably see half of his body on his screen. And he just could not connect with it. Either way, the suspect pushing his way up here towards Catwalk. Three guys over here in sight, still using that full-on anti-aim, which means he's not really taking much damage. Now he's taking a little bit through the blocks here, and he's going to peek out. It will take two down, but that bomb is going to blow. All right, guys, so the suspect here is currently trolling the other team. I think we have plenty of evidence to report him. So let's go do that. Well, this case started off very interesting, coming in straight on to an ace that looked like it might have possibly been legitimate with a couple shady shots here and there. 
But overall, as we can see as the game went on, he just started cheating harder and harder. And eventually the other team couldn't do anything to even hit him. So I'm going to have to go with Evident Beyond Reasonable Doubt on aim assistance. On vision assistance, Evident Beyond Reasonable Doubt. And other external assistance, Evident Beyond Reasonable Doubt. As for griefing, he did TK his teammate, but that was technically after the round. And he was really not putting his team in any risk of losing this game. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves once again on Mirage. The suspect is full-on rage hacking his way over here towards the A site, staring at the ground with an auto sniper. And I'm sure that's making some people sick out there. So he's going to go out there and take down Lamb through a box, takes down Snake through a box, and still got two more guys over here able to take down Seal. Looks like number four here pushing up aggressive on him. He's able to take him down. And that's just going to leave Octopus, who's rotating over through CT spawn. The suspect peeks around the corner and gets an easy, quick kill onto him. Let's go and report this guy. Time for the Overwatch resolution. Rage Hacker is going to Rage Hack. Evident beyond reasonable doubt. Evident beyond reasonable doubt. Evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for grieving, going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves on office, so it's no surprise to see the suspect making his way backwards over here towards the office area. Going to be making his way down Long Hall 1 towards Long Hall 3 and making his way over here towards the hostage rescue area. Uh, Stump is able to take one down. The suspect's able to flick around and take one down. And the counter-terrorists win this round no problem because they're all freaking cheating. Another case where all I have to do is go through this and go evident beyond reasonable doubt, evident beyond reasonable doubt, and evident beyond reasonable doubt. Now a lot of times people ask me why I don't select griefing even in cases when they're full on rage hacking and still griefing. And that's because it's only minor disruption and these are going to take priority regardless. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. All right, this one here looks promising. The suspect here has 13 kills, 125 damage around with a 53% headshot percentage. This guy might actually be legitimate. The suspect making his way over here towards middle is going to spot it out. Doesn't spot out anyone. No one is playing that B site, so he's going to rotate over. The suspect now over here at the B site. No one has pushed in, but he seems a little bit more confident about the positioning of the terrorists and he probably should be making his way over here towards B leaving that B site completely open once again and it's just gonna lock from target to target taking down lamb you know what that wasn't a lock on he's just shroud it's official shroud has decided to come back to CSGO as you can see over there cyclone making his way over there towards the A site this is a very slow time consuming process as the suspect tries to get an angle to finally take down that final terrorist and Cyclone is going to get taken down by Sheep. Alright guys, obviously this guy is full on blatantly cheating. He's just locked from target to target accidentally there in middle. And of course he was way too confident about the terrorists making their way over there towards middle. This time repositioning back over here towards B, able to take down Cyclone by just spraying that M4. He is going to lock on for a moment there, trying to shoot McCaw through the wall there, but not quite able to do so. Can he get an angle on him though? McCall is going to peek out and McCall wins the duel. The suspect making his way over here towards the middle. You can see Lamb and Cyclone are down over there by underpass. The suspect is going to try to molly it off. Not the greatest Molotov, but it seems to have worked well enough to push them back a little bit. And the suspect going to peek around the corner and try to lock from target to target. Able to take down one of them, but it looks like the other one went unscathed. The suspect is literally just staring at this guy through the wall and watching where he's going to go. Meanwhile, Rattle tries to go in for the pick and gets taken down by Cyclone. The suspect trying to get an angle here, but Sheep's going to get the kill. All right, so what do we have so far? Well, the aim assistance is blatant as all hell. And of course, the wall hack is blatant as all hell, but still do not have enough to say other external assistance. Still, though, looks like the suspect's not going to fall for it and going to try to go and take down Iceberg instead. The last terrorist making his way up from the flank and the suspect's gonna peek around the corner and spray him down, only get taken down by his teammate. The suspect making his way over here towards the B site. You can see the terrorist trying to push their way in. He was able to take down one, Frog took down one. And now the suspect is trying to shoot McCall through the wall and his teammate is trying to block him and take the shots. The suspect makes his way around the corner, able to take down McCall. One more terrorist in there, and he's able to get the kill on him as well. All right, guys, on to the CT side. The suspect pushing his way up the ramp is going to spot one guy out in sight. Going for the repeats here, able to take down Beta. McCall on the other side of that triple box, able to take down McCall with a one dig. 
And now pushing his way over here towards the site. His teammates are really trying to piss him off by blocking him from going in any entrance he tries to go into. But he is finding ways to get around them. And still taking down the other team. Ooh, locked onto the wrong enemy there for a moment. Takes another shot over there towards Triple Box. Will he be able to take down Beta? No, it looks like Rattle will from the side. And that's just going to leave one CT remaining, pushing his way through Underpass. Of course, the suspect knows exactly where he is because he can see him through the wall. And the suspect B hopping his way down middle. So we can report the full on trifecta. And we'll just finish off this round and go do that. All right, guys, time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. Major disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistances, evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. Took a while to absolutely verify that full on trifecta, but obviously at the end, we could see he was clearly using a B hop script. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.